Hello and welcome to another episode of Microsoft Fabric series and in today's video we are going to discuss how to use data pipelines in Microsoft Fabric to get data which is on premise. Yes, on premise data is supported via data pipelines using on premise gateway. So to understand that let me tell you few things which you need to set up. To use data pipelines for on-premise data, make sure that you have installed the latest version of on-premise gateway. As you can see, I have already installed the latest version. In case you have not installed the latest version, while you are trying to create a pipeline for the on-premise sources using on-premise gateway, it might throw an error that you need to install the latest version. Once you have done, you need to make sure you have some sources which are on-premise. So I have my on-premise. SQL Server and in my on-premise SQL Server, I'm going to use this sales database from where I'm going to import one of the tables into Microsoft Fabric. So let me do one thing. Let me jump onto the Microsoft Fabric and I will reach Microsoft Fabric using app.powerbi.com. Now from here, I will navigate to one of my workspace, which is nothing but 01 GA Fabric. In 01 GA Fabric, I'll go to new, more options and inside that I'll use data pipelines. I'll give a new name to the data pipeline that we call it on-premise, on-premise data. The pipeline is getting created. Here what I'll do is I will use the copy data assistant activity to get the data from on-premise sources to the Microsoft Fabric. So I will search for SQL Server and it is there below. Once I select that, I'll press on the next button at the bottom. I can use existing connection or I can use create new connection. In the create new connection, I need to provide the details like localhost slash SQL Express. Now because I have already used it, it is already showing me the new on-premise gateway which has been used and what other options I have or I can continue by clicking create new connection. I need to choose my data gateway. So I can go to my data gateway and check its name. My data gateway name is Amit hyphen fabric one. So let me go ahead and use that. Authentication. I will try to use the windows authentication and here I need to give my domain and the local password. So my domain, I need to go to my PC. So open any folder, go to this PC, right click and use properties. I'm not showing you, but I'm telling you the steps. And inside that one, you should get your machine name. Use that machine name and your username and then press next. Once done, it will load the tables. So on the left hand side, it is showing you table and the query in case you want to give a query. You can use the query option. I'll wait for tables to get loaded. The tables are loaded and I can select one or more table as required. I'm only selecting one table as of now, which is dbo.sales. It's loading its preview. It is always better to look at the preview before we press next so that we are sure the data is coming. As you can see, the data is there as well as the data types are detected correctly. Press on next. Now we need to choose a destination. Here I'm going to choose a destination either as a lake house or a warehouse of fabric. Let me choose lake house. Press next. I will choose existing lake house, lake 02. Press next. Instead of existing table, I'll use to a new table and I'll give it as a name. Instead of DBO sales, let me call it on premise sale, ONP sales underscore one. Now here I can check the data types are they matching or not. As you can see when I'm scrolling the data types are matching. If I want to enable the partition I can check this box but as of now I'm leaving it as is. Press next. I can use start data and transfer immediately but I'll uncheck that to showcase you what settings we have done. I'll click on OK. It will create a pipeline with only one activity that is copy data. Let's check the detail at the copy data. Click on that, you can see the source detail, you can see the destination, you can see the mapping. 
any change in the mapping can be done here and in the settings in case you wanted to use some of those like enable logging staging etc right now we don't need those now i can save this i can validate this pipeline and let me run this pipeline now the pipeline is start running and below here you can see it is showing the activities right now it is queued now it is in progress the pipeline has completed successfully in 29 seconds time has come that we go to the lake house and check out the details so let me go ahead to the 01 ga fabric lake 02 i can use a filter on the right hand side top to only see the lake houses and in the lake house i can also choose sql endpoint directly instead of going to the lake so i'm directly going to the sql endpoint and let me see did i get my new table initially it is not showing so we might have to refresh or we might have to go to the lake view let it load so let me refresh the tables as you can see it is now showing onp sales 1 i can right click and also use select top 100 rows i can check the number of rows which are loaded by using count star it is loaded 30000 rows and as you know those who are following the series from beginning usually my sales table has 30000 rows so in this manner you can use on premise gateway to bring in the data from the on premise sources by using microsoft fabric data pipelines into your lake houses and warehouses so why don't you go ahead and try this out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this particular video thank you